Hi, Rick here from Mariner Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to be covering converting your Inspire 1 into a Spire Pro. So if you already have your Inspire, I'm sure you've been shooting away with the XC camera, you've been very pleased with it, but possibly maybe if you're moving more into the commercial market, you be wanting to offer your clients something a little bit better and you now want to fit the X5 camera. So this video I'm going to be covering fitting the adapter plate and the X5 onto the Inspire 1 or Inspire 1 V2. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take off this spot and dampening plate. So the easiest thing to do if you just pinch in below the rubbers, you can just pull that off. There, there. Now, don't just quickly pull it away because there is, oh, in fact, one's out already. We've got two cables on the back here. So there's little cam locks on them. So you need to squeeze those little clips in before you pull it away. So just clip in the back and then it comes off. But what we also need to remove as well is these little dampening rubbers too. So just give them a pinch and remove them as well. There we go, and then we just put them aside. So the next thing you need to do is get the accessory kit out. So we've got the new lower plate, we've got the feet extension and stickers, and we've got the actual screws and fitting kit as well. Okay, so the next job is to put the lower plate onto the craft. So we're gonna need the lower plate, but we're also gonna need the screws, etc. So you wanna get them out. Now the first thing we need to do is connect up the cables on the uh, on the gimbal mount at the bottom as well. So we want to get those on. Get them clipped in place. Now, when you're putting this on, see these cables, they tend to sit forward and they tend to cause a little bit of resistance between this plate and the bottom plate of the model. So if you can try and tuck the cables into the hole just for putting them on and what I tend to find is there, you'll probably find there's a bit of resistance in that plate. It doesn't move smoothly, but you find once the weight of the X5 camera's on and it pulls it down, it tends to clear okay. Okay, so the next stage is we're going to be putting the uh, front mounting bracket on. Now, you'll notice that screws are biased towards the front end. So that just one pops in under there and just hold it in place with your fingers. And then two mil Allen driver, try and focus, going in through the two screws. Now I find what sometimes helps, rather than having the screw going in that way, because the bracket, the way your finger's holding it in just at the front tends to lean back. So if you actually angle the Allen key just back a bit, it just helps it bite on. Now don't screw it in till it's tight though, because you haven't got the other side in. You just want it to, so it's just nicked up and caught on the thread. And then that way, the second screw goes in, and then that could be the one that does the tightening. And just make sure that the, uh, the bracket goes into like two little recessed, holes just make sure they're lined up now the screws will go tight before it's all the way home it's just because there's a thread lock on the thread to help it stop it falling out but don't go mad of course as well just until it's down and seated and that's you now the next bit is a little bit more awkward we're going to be putting these brackets in the back hole so if i use my allen driver you're going into that rear one there. Just move that round a bit, way. That's the one that you're going to be going into. Now, the way it goes in, as you'll see again on this bracket, it's got a recessed bottom, which goes in the hole. But that flat edge there lines up with the flat of the craft. So it will go in that hole, and then that edge there will be flat against that. Now, it's a wee bit awkward, so the best thing to do is if you turn the craft upside down, put it and hold it in with your finger, and then go from the bottom. Okay, so I've now got the bracket in and I'm holding it in with my finger, although I found it easier to place it in that way. The reason I've got my hand in from the rear is just so that my hand doesn't cover the, the shot from the camera. And then now we're able to put that screw, just find the hole and screw it in. Now again, you'll feel it going tight a little bit prematurely, but that is it, just the thread, uh, the thread lock. But don't take it up too tight, just take it into a few threads just so that you can put the other one in and then it'll allow it to line up better. Okay, now we've got the other bracket in and then we can put the screw in. And this one can be tightened the whole way now. So that's that one neck tap. 
and then we could go back to the original and just finish off that one. And that's the rear dampening plate in. Now, quite a common question is, uh, what are these brackets for here? They're actually for the X5 RAW camera when it comes out. So at the moment, we don't use them. They just get clipped in out of the way. Okay, so we're going to fit the camera now. I've got my model upside down. It's just so you can get a kind of profile short because the important part is this little bracket at the back, this little bit that sticks out, and you've got the same on the actual back of the gimbal. And that will be hooking in there. And then the front basically fits into there as it did before, and then just slide the cam across, and that's the camera locked in. Okay, now that the camera's fitted, we can actually power it up for the first time. And there we go. Now, just before we get uh, out, get home with the uh, firmware part of the, um, the conversion, there's one thing we need to do and is fit the little feet on. So they look like little sexy high heels for the Inspire. So you need one of those and you need the little M3 sticky pad. Now give this a wee clean first because if there's any like dust and oil on it, it might stop the, this from sticking on properly. And you just want to stick that on. That go down there like that. Peel off top and then this simply just slides on over the top like that and that's your your heel extensions on okay once you've got all four fitted on you'll be looking slick like this and you won't look out of place in a 70s retro party night